Top, top, top. Three, two, one. Top, 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 top. Top, top Hill episode. 146. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Top Hill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boy. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. Yeah, man. Speaking of performances, though, the boy is back. Hey. Drake has announced his It's All A Blur tour has started. Um, he first started out in Chicago. He's doing his run right now. And the um, show seems to be really lit, man. Like, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of really dope stuff. I'm trying not to see too much of Me it. Me too. Because, I'm not looking at now. We just like, mm. yeah, like worry about my own city. Right. <laughs> uh, but it seems like he's doing like different type of surprises in different cities and stuff like that. Um, Montreal was uh, got blessed to see J Cole come out. He came out for both shows, and um, yeah, man, J Cole came out there and rocked it out. Drake mentioned um, <laughs> that he wants to get on the song. Um, with J. Cole and hopefully for his next album. So okay. um, that that was uh that was a moment um as well too. I don't know if they have a, a snippet of it but <laughs> um, trying to see if there's a moment of a role model. Yeah, I couldn't find the video but um, that would be that would be really fucking dope. Um, I cannot wait. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot fire. wait. I love me so Drake guy. I just got so excited. Yeah, and we got we got the honor to be able to go to Dreamville and see them on stage together too for the first time. That so was that, nice. was, that was a moment. That was a moment in hip hop history, man. Two. Two legends of this generation sharing the same stage, you know what I mean? It's, it's Coexisting really so effortlessly. Yeah. Oh my god. Perfect. And I don't even love J. Cole like that. I do like J. Cole a mm-hmm. lot. But yeah. Um, only if we can get the the other guy to cooperate. <laughs> but he's, I don't I don't know if that's that's gonna happen. They're not gonna do that for a whole another twenty years. Uh, yeah. when they, <laughs> they when they get us re engaged. Yeah, they they're still fighting. And um you guys don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about Kendrick and Drake. Um, still throwing shots at each other. Still throwing subliminals. Matter of fact, during Drake's concert, you know, he came out and said that, you know, I can't be one of those rappers that give you an album and wait three, four, five years and then come back. You know what I mean? I just got to give you guys some. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. Drake, that's a petty nigga, dog. I love um, him so much. Oh, man. But, yeah. I, I would love to see sometime in my lifetime a Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole record together. Like, that would be... Fuck it, album. This, this, oh, man. I, I, don't think, I, mean, I don't think the world's wordy enough for that. I don't think that we deserve it. Could you imagine them on tour together? No. <laughs> album and then tour. I will pay... I don't care what the ticket price is <laughs> at all. I will find a way to go to that tour. Like, if, if all three of them together, yeah, I'm going. Because ticket prices is going to be crazy. Yeah, I, I'll crazy. be there. Crazy. I will fucking be there. I don't... What's the max that you're going to pay for that? All right, what's my income? Uh... <laughs> what did I say? What's my income? <laughs> I got to look at my income, my balance my balance statement, my bills. Mm-hmm. Whatever's left over is, is, is going right to that. Going right to it. So whatever's left. Whatever's left, they can have it. Mm. <laughs> they can have it, man. For that month. Um, but yeah. Top hill. Top hill. 